Have you seen these little fancy bottles promoted everywhere? Not that long ago, Gary Brecca went onto the Joe Rogan podcast talking about hydrogen water and the hydrogen water bottle he uses. And now the internet is buzzing about hydrogen water and these little bottles. Companies and products have seemingly popped out of nowhere promoting them. Only one problem. No one really knows anything about them. Not many people know what hydrogen water is, much less how these little bottles work and how you can distinguish between the many different variations of these bottles. Well, we're gonna do a deep dive into these little water bottles on this episode of H2 Minutes. Before we get started, let me give you a little breakdown of what we're gonna be explaining in this video. Here are the points. Why would you want a hydrogen water bottle? What are hydrogen water bottles? How effective are they for health benefits? How do they translate to the research? Other hydrogen water bottle gimmicks, how not to be duped. It's crucial to watch this video in its entirety, especially the conclusion. We will unveil the best approach for purchasing a hydrogen water bottle, saving you time, energy, and money you do not want to miss out. But if you need to skip ahead to get to the information you're looking for, the timestamps are in the description. If you would like to support what we do, please consider becoming a member of our channel, either on YouTube or Patreon. If this video helps in any way, please consider sending over a super thanks to support our efforts in trying to help the world with hydrogen. Now, let's get into the crazy world of portable hydrogen water bottles. Number one, why would you want a hydrogen water bottle? So before you can know if you want a hydrogen water bottle, you need to know why you want hydrogen in your water in the first place. I'm telling you, one of the most common comments people make about this is that it's a scam because hydrogen's already in water. This is true that hydrogen atoms are part of the water molecule, but people, the hydrogen we're talking about is hydrogen gas or molecular hydrogen, a totally different species of hydrogen. I don't have time to explain the different species of hydrogen, but I made a video that could be helpful to that question. Hydrogen gas is recognized as a novel therapeutic medical gas. The administration of this gas to the human body is referred to as hydrogen therapy and is a practice aimed at addressing various health problems or disorders. Extensive research with over 2,000 scientific articles and counting, including upwards of 200 preclinical and clinical human studies and growing, has been conducted to understand its efficacy. Scientists have discovered that molecular hydrogen has the potential to aid in over 170 human disease models and is therapeutic for virtually every organ in the human body. Importantly, the best part is the discovery that it has zero damaging effects to our cells. Check out this video to learn more about the safety profile of hydrogen gas. Now, even though we're talking about hydrogen water with these bottles, it's important for you to know that hydrogen gas delivered via water is not the only way to administer hydrogen gas to the human body. Molecular hydrogen can be introduced into the human body using different methods, such as hydrogen-rich water, which is the consumption of water dissolved with molecular hydrogen hydrogen gas inhalation, which is the inhalation of hydrogen gas through specialized devices, intravenous injection, which is the direct introduction of molecular hydrogen into the bloodstream, and topical applications, which is applying hydrogen-rich solutions or gels directly to the skin. Now, to explain all the benefits would be too much for this video. I have a whole playlist with videos of the benefits of molecular hydrogen. We have a whole series on how hydrogen can benefit the top 10 causes of death, and those videos are extensive. This video here reviews over 60 health benefits of hydrogen gas. But to give you a few of the big ones, hydrogen can have a wide range of health benefits, including anti-inflammation, anti-allergic, anti-arthritic, anti-brain disorders, anti-aging, improves their immune system, and is even a protective agent for disease prevention. If you're new here, you should know that we make all of our videos based on what the research has to say about hydrogen gas. Everything we have to say will always have a scientific study to back it up, and we always put our sources in the description. On top of that, I've been in this industry for a decade and I've been following this research closely, as well as having colleagues who are part of research teams 
and have conducted many studies themselves. So as a prominent member of the hydrogen research and advocate community, I've worked very hard to establish myself as a trusted source of accurate information for hydrogen gas and hydrogen products. If you wanna know more about me and what I do, check out this two hour presentation where I discuss basically everything you need to know about hydrogen therapy. But enough about me. As you can tell, hydrogen gas has plenty of reasons to be a desirable health tool for your life, which is why these little bottles have become so popular because they are a relatively inexpensive way to access the benefits of hydrogen. But how do they even work? That's the next question. Number two, what are hydrogen water bottles? These hydrogen water devices are portable, battery-powered water bottles that generate and dissolve molecular hydrogen into water. They use water electrolysis, a process of breaking water down into its natural components, hydrogen, H2, and oxygen, O2. This explains the visible production of H2 bubbles in the water. To perform electrolysis, you must use electricity, which is the reason for the batteries in these bottles. The bottles are composed of an H2 generator on the bottom and a bottle or flask on the top that ranges from 8 ounces, 240 milliliters, to 16 ounces, 500 milliliters. It typically takes three to 10 minutes to produce a hydrogen water, which is referred to as cycle time. So let's take a deeper look into the inner workings of these bottles. Within the hydrogen generator base unit is a small hydrogen cell for producing hydrogen gas from the drinking water. The hydrogen cell will have a cathode or negative side where the hydrogen gas is produced. And the anode or the positive side is where oxygen gas is produced. The cells have smaller electrodes which are coated in platinum, which allows electricity to flow to produce the hydrogen. Some bottles use what's called dual chamber PEM SPE technology. This stands for proton exchange membrane and solid polymer electrolyte. Other bottles use AWI technology, which stands for alkaline water ionizer technology. If you want a more detailed breakdown of electrolysis within these two technologies, check this video out here. In this video, we break down the pros and cons of both. We even animated the process of each of them and how they break down the water molecules. This video is about bigger countertop machines and not these bottles, but you'll get a feel of how electrolysis works. The basics of what you need to know for this video is that PEM bottles allows you to produce hydrogen water with any kind of drinking water. So spring, distilled, purified, RO, filtered, etc. You want to use water that is filtered in some way because these bottles do not, I repeat, do not filter the water. Hydrogen gas is produced on the drinking water side of the hydrogen cell and the O2 is discarded at the bottom. Because of this, things like chlorine, ozone, and hydrogen peroxide can be produced on the anode are discarded at the bottom as well. Producing hydrogen gas with these bottles will not alter the pH of the water. Now the AWI water bottles will only produce hydrogen water if there's minerals present in the water. And unfortunately, these bottles can also produce chlorine, ozone, hydrogen peroxide, and oxygen within the drinking water. Because the cathode and anode are typically together instead of being separate from each other. These bottles will alter the pH of the water, making the water more alkaline. Do not buy these bottles. There is better technology on the market now and it'll save you a lot of headaches, so just steer clear of them. The most important part of a hydrogen water bottle is the hydrogen concentration. In these bottles, this number can vary greatly, which makes my next point a big one. Number three, how effective are they for health benefits? The potential for health benefits from hydrogen water depends on how much hydrogen gas you consume. So if you want an effective hydrogen water bottle, it's imperative to know how much hydrogen gas it can provide. Hydrogen water bottles can have an H2 concentration range as low as 0.1 milligrams per liter or ppm to as high as 7.0 milligrams per liter or ppm. But why such a large range? Many bottles can use subpar technology making it a challenge to produce hydrogen gas let alone dissolving that gas into the water. This usually leads to these bottles exhibiting a lower concentration from 0.1 to 1.6 milligrams per liter or ppm. The maximum amount of hydrogen gas that can be dissolved into water is 1.6 milligrams per liter or ppm without any pressure forcing more gas to dissolve. This is precisely how bottles that provide over 1.6 milligrams per liter or ppm achieve higher levels. These bottles are designed to hold a great deal of pressure 
and therefore provide a higher concentration. High concentration bottles have a special lid that is designed to hold pressure and release pressure at a certain point. There are even lids that have a manual pressure relief button making it easier to open. The bottle and the base will also be designed not to crack or break under the pressure. I will get into the daily dose that is deemed therapeutic by research in my next point. But for now, let's talk about the differences between effective bottles and ineffective bottles. For one, every single hydrogen water bottle company should tell you their hydrogen gas levels that the bottle provides. If they don't or don't know what it is, move on to the next. If they do claim how much hydrogen gas their bottle has, then the next step is to verify that claim. The great part about hydrogen gas is that you do not have to wonder if it's in there. You can buy an H2 blue test reagent to test it yourself. Look to see if it's video proof of it measuring what it claims or verify if the product is third party tested and approved. If you test it yourself, be aware of the testing technique that is critical for an accurate test. You can learn more about how to test your hydrogen water by watching our video. I will also get more into third party testing at the end of this video. Now, there are a few reasons why verifying that H2 claims is vital. Some companies may have used a hydrogen meter to determine their H2 concentration. However, many of these meters do not give accurate readings, or they may have received the numbers from the manufacturer but never verified their claims. Or maybe their claim concentration was achieved one time, but it is not a consistent reading from their product. Or they very well could be telling you a little fib, who knows. I've seen it all. That's why verifying the concentration is a major key to buying a hydrogen water bottle. It's important because it will determine if the bottle will even be effective or not. The next piece that is just as important is knowing the volume of water that the bottle can hold. Many companies like to state their H2 concentration, which is stated in PPMs, but do not talk about the volume. A better unit of measurement is milligrams per liter, which considers the concentration and the volume. The H2 concentration and the volume of the bottle will determine how many bottles you need to drink per day to get the health benefits. It may not be a surprise, but there are no hydrogen water bottles that actually hold a liter of water. But if there was, and that bottle provided one ppm of hydrogen, then you would ingest one milligram of H2 by consuming one bottle. But if your bottle is 250 milliliters or 8.5 ounces, and measures at one ppm the same concentration as our previous example, then you are only ingesting 0.2 milligrams of hydrogen with one bottle, which is not enough for a daily dose of H2. You would need to drink four of these bottles to equal one of the other bottles. This should be obvious, but many companies do not explain that. In order to get any benefits, you would need to drink four of these bottles a day at least. We will get more into this in my next point. But before we do, let me reiterate. Hydrogen concentration and the volume are the two things that will determine if you will receive health benefits from your hydrogen water bottle. Keep this in mind when navigating through the claims of the marketers. If they're boasting their ORP, pH, antioxidant value, water structure, or anything else that takes the focus away from hydrogen, know that those things don't matter or simply aren't true and reveals an ignorance the company has about the product they're actually selling. Okay. Okay, so the PM membrane, high hydrogen concentration, and the volume of water are the top three priorities when looking for a hydrogen water bottle. Now, let's talk about the studies and how we can know how much hydrogen is needed. Number four, how do these bottles translate to the research? The research on hydrogen water has demonstrated that we must ingest enough hydrogen gas to receive the health benefits. And there appears to be a minimum threshold, meaning you can't consume hydrogen water, but if the H2 levels are too low, you may not notice any health benefits at all. Data suggests that one to three milligrams of H2 or more per day via water appears to be therapeutic for humans. Some researchers are even suggesting that 1.8 to 7.2 milligrams of H2 per day is needed to see clinical effects. Here are a few examples from the studies of the milligram dose they're administering to humans. In this study, the participants consumed 500 milliliters of hydrogen water daily containing seven milligrams per liter of dissolved H2. This equates to an intake of 3.5 milligrams of H2 per day, resulting in enhanced vascular function. Consumption of water containing over 3.5 milligrams of dissolved hydrogen could improve vascular endothelial function. The subjects were randomly divided into two groups, 
the high H2 group who drank high H2 water containing 7 ppm of H2, 3.5 milligrams in 500 milliliters of water, and the placebo group. Also, in this article, the participants consumed 2 liters of hydrogen water daily containing a H2 concentration of 1.3 milligrams per liter of dissolved H2. This equates to intaking 2.6 milligrams per day of H2, resulting in improved metabolic syndrome. Effectiveness of hydrogen-rich water on antioxidant status of subjects with potential metabolic syndrome, an open-label pilot study. The objective of this study was to examine the effectiveness of hydrogen-rich water, 1.5 to 2 liters a day, in an open label eight week study on 20 subjects with potential metabolic syndrome. Hydrogen rich water was produced by placing a metallic magnesium stick into drinking water. Hydrogen concentration 0.55 to 0.65 millimoles times two liters a day equals 2.62 milligrams of H2 per day by the following chemical reaction. Lastly, in this paper, the participants consume one liter of hydrogen water daily for three consecutive days, containing 5.14 milligrams per liter of dissolved H2. This equates to an intake of 5.14 milligrams of H2 per day and over 15 milligrams of H2 in three days, resulting in reduced muscle fatigue and oxidative damage from physical activity. Hydrogen-rich water suppressed the reduction in blood total antioxidant capacity induced by three consecutive days of severe exercise in physically active men. Before and after the exercise test, participants drank 500 milliliters of hydrogen water at 5.14 plus or minus 0.03 ppm in H2 concentration, or plain water. These are just three examples from more than 170 human studies. As you can see, some studies are giving people a high dose of H2. In fact, some studies are administering up to 15 milligrams of H2 per day. It's important to understand that researchers are still working to figure out proper dosing, especially for different disease models and general health. In fact, they figured out that many disease models are dose dependent. This means depending on the disease, you may need to consume more H2 than others to induce a therapeutic effect. And in most cases, the more H2, the greater the effect. So how can you determine how much hydrogen gas you are consuming? This is a simple formula to determine the dose. A2 concentration times the volume of water in liters or milliliters equals dose or milligrams of H2 ingested. So let's walk this out in terms of hydrogen water bottles. Say you buy a low end hydrogen water bottle probably a cheap one on Amazon or something. And you verify the H2 concentration of the bottle is 0.5 ppm or milligrams per liter, even though they claimed it would be higher. Which, if you're measuring with H2 blue, it will take five drops to turn clear to equal 0.5 ppm or milligrams per liter. And a side note, some companies will give you a PPB measurement, which will be a thousand instead of one, and 500 instead of 0.5 and so on. So say your 0.5 ppm bottle is 300 milliliters in volume. If we take the H2 concentration times the volume, we learn that there is only 0.15 milligrams of H2 present in the water. If the goal was to reach the minimum target of one milligram of H2, it will require drinking seven of those bottles to do that. That is over two liters of water each day just to get one milligram of H2. Now say you would like to shoot for three milligrams, which is much more likely to induce therapeutic benefits. You would need to drink 20 of these bottles, which is six liters or over a gallon of H2 water every day. Now, I don't know, but maybe you are a beast at drinking water, but having to make and drink 20 bottles of hydrogen water each day is just not practical or sustainable. Not to mention the wear and tear on your bottle resulting from heavy use. Now, let's say you have a bottle that produces seven milligrams per liter of dissolved H2 in the same volume of water, 300 milliliters. By doing the same math, we can determine that there's 2.1 milligrams of hydrogen gas dissolved into the water when it's ready to drink. 
Already we know that with just one bottle, we have a dose of two milligrams, which is within the suggested daily dose. And drinking two bottles a day will exceed the minimum level, giving you four milligrams of H2 per day. So you can see the benefit of having a much higher quality bottle. Whether it's $50 or $400, no one wants to spend money on a health product that doesn't provide any health benefits. You might as well drink regular water rather than waste your money. And by the way, seven milligram per liter H2 water bottles are really hard to come by. And even the best bottles probably won't be this high, but your device should provide you with one to three milligrams of H2 per day conveniently and easily from the product in less than 1.5 liters or three to six bottles per day. Now, this doesn't mean you have to do this math every day or test the water before you drink it. The goal is to get a quality bottle that you can trust will give you a high concentration every time so you don't have to worry about it. And here is a pro tip to help you out. On my website, h2hub.com, I've created a calculator where you can input these important numbers I have been talking about and the target milligram you would like to ingest. And it will tell you how much you should be drinking each day. We've talked about a lot of claims made with hydrogen water bottles, but there is one claim that deserves its own point. Number five, hydrogen water bottle gimmicks. Now, as I mentioned earlier, drinking hydrogen water is not the only way to administer hydrogen gas to get health benefits. In fact, hydrogen inhalation is blowing up on the market and has really become popular amongst hydrogen consumers, which has led to hydrogen water bottle promoters jumping on the H2 inhalation train. Some H2 bottles come with an attachment to breathe hydrogen gas from these bottles. The problem with this is that hydrogen inhalation has its own suggested level of hydrogen that has been deemed to provide health benefits. And hydrogen Hydrogen water bottles don't even come near this level. Since the hydrogen inhalation is administered through a different route than the water, the amount needed of H2 will be different as well. Hydrogen inhalation's effectiveness is determined by the flow rate, which is expressed in milliliters per minute, instead of ppm or milligrams per liter like hydrogen water. This means we can determine the effectiveness of a hydrogen inhalation device by how much hydrogen gas is coming out each minute. Just like hydrogen water, we can determine how much has been shown to be therapeutic by looking at what they use in the studies. The studies indicate that we need to aim for 1 to 4 percent H2 at resting breathing rates. For an average male, this translates to a flow rate of at least 50 to 200 milliliters per minute. However, this flow rate still may be too low in real world scenarios due to the inevitable losses of H2 during at home inhalation with nasal cannulas. So how does that flow rate compare to hydrogen water bottles? These bottles are generally going to produce five to 10 milliliters per minute of hydrogen gas. This converts to approximately 0.1 to 0.2% for an average male. This is 10 to 40 times less than the minimum required for humans to derive therapeutic benefits through inhalation. To achieve effective results, portable H2 inhalation devices should provide a minimum of 100 milliliters per minute. A flagship H2 inhalation system should provide 150 milliliters per minute or more. It's worth noting that these levels may be subject to change with further ongoing research. However, I don't foresee the suggested dose being any less, but rather quite a bit higher. Keep in mind that a higher flow rate like 300 milliliters to 1000 milliliters per minute of H2 improves the capacity of H2 inhalation systems to offset the losses of H2 to the atmosphere during inhalation. Losses are inevitable during H2 inhalation with nasal cannulas. Given that hydrogen gas is the lightest gas in the universe and highly diffusible in air. So if you're breathing from a device that's only providing five to 10 milliliters per minute of H2, the amount of gas that's actually entering your lungs is negligible and won't even come close to providing health benefits. This is a problem for you because you're not getting what you expected or paid for, but it's also a problem for the hydrogen community as a whole because of the number of people that can say they tried hydrogen inhalation and it didn't work. So to summarize, breathing hydrogen gas from a hydrogen water bottle or pitcher or H2 water device is a waste of time and money. So that brings me to my next and final point, point that ties all the points up into a bow and covers anything else I missed. Number six, how to not be duped. Navigating the market for a hydrogen water bottle poses a significant challenge. Given the multitude of options available 
and new companies popping up every day. This means it's crucial not to tackle this alone if you want to experience the health benefits Hydrogen has to offer. There are many subpar bottles on the market and many companies that don't deserve your hard earned money. It's imperative to leverage reputable sources and resources to ensure you don't waste your time or your money or compromise your health. The best advice I can give you before purchasing one of these bottles is verify, verify, verify. Beyond verifying the specs of a device, there are other ways to verify if the product is of quality or not. The hydrogen industry is unique in this sense that there is only a few credible third-party organizations that can help verify claims of the products. I will briefly explain. The first is the International Hydrogen Standards Association, or IHSA. This is a scientific organization led by leading researchers in the field of the medical research of molecular hydrogen therapy. They have set forth standards and guidelines derived from scientific literature, specifically for the therapeutic use of hydrogen gas. Companies can have their products tested and certified to these standards. The second is the sole IHSA approved lab in the US for certification testing, H2 Analytics. H2 Analytics uses advanced gas chromatography to measure hydrogen gas dissolved into water which is the gold standard for this assessment. Hydrogen companies have the option to submit their products to H2 Analytics for a laboratory report verifying the H2 concentration. H2 Analytics can also oversee the certification process to determine if the product meets IHSA standards. And then there is my company, H2 Hub. We specialize in hydrogen consulting, focusing on educating people about molecular hydrogen therapy. We do not directly sell any H2 products. Our core service involves providing third-party recommendations to the public through objective testing of hydrogen products. Through our H2 performance tests, we see if the product coincides with objective scientific standards, which are established by IHSA or the Molecular Hydrogen Institute, MHI as well as our own internal standards, which are based on the scientific literature and some being even higher than IHSA. We also have determined our internal standards through a decade of industry experience. We attempt to determine if the product is safe to use, provides therapeutic levels of hydrogen, and has some form of decent build quality. At the present time, the other resources only look at hydrogen water products, but H2Hub looks at a multitude of hydrogen products and product categories, and is more accessible to the public compared to the other organizations. We even consider elements that an H2 lab might not evaluate. This means we strive to serve as a middle ground for people looking to make informed decisions. And lastly is MHI or Molecular Hydrogen Institute, which is arguably the foremost authority on molecular hydrogen research globally. While MHI doesn't provide specific product recommendations, they are likely to direct you to the same trusted sources I mentioned, IHSA, H2 Analytics, and H2Hub. So IHSA, MHI, and H2 Analytics are the top authorities for H2 standards, education, and testing. They provide the path that we at H2 Hub walk on. H2 Hub is and will always be built on the back of these organizations, and we are dependent on their contributions to the industry. They also stay away from talking about products or recommending products. H2 Hub is the only third-party hydrogen educational company in the world that directs customers to specific quality products through testing. Not only do we point to products that have met our standards, but we also provide you with our own test report of the data, as well as videos and all the specs and information needed for each one. Now, there are great H2 products that are on the market that have yet to be tested by H2 Analytics, as the testing process is fairly new and expensive. And there are many products that we have tested and companies we have experience with that are not on our recommendation list. If there's a product that you are interested in investing in and is not on H2 Hub, contact us and chances are we can provide you with more information about that product. We will have all these links in the description for you to check out. If you are a company or distributor and you would like your product tested by H2 Hub, hit us up so we can get that process started. On H2 Minutes, we try to stay neutral and non-biased and just provide the research on H2. But with H2 Hub, our bias lies with products and companies that can actually help people with hydrogen. We don't want to see anyone waste their time and money on products that don't provide enough hydrogen or with companies that won't do right by them. That being said, there may be some good products out there sold by not so good companies. Be sure to not only look into the product, but look into the companies as well for red flags. We can help you in that process as well. We've seen a lot 
a lot in 10 years. So that's my deep dive into hydrogen water bottles. Let's review. Hydrogen water bottles can be an effective way to access the wide range of health benefits of hydrogen gas. The most effective hydrogen water bottles are those with a PEM SPE membrane that can produce a high concentration of hydrogen gas. Because there's a minimum dose of H2 for health benefits, it's more desirable to get a bottle that can make high concentration of hydrogen gas. Before you buy the bottle, make sure you know the H2 concentration and the volume of the bottle. Do not use your hydrogen bottle for inhalation purposes. That is a waste of time. And verify the performance and quality of the bottle and company with third-party sources. Thank you for sticking with me to this point. Is there anything about hydrogen water bottles that I did not address? Leave me a comment and let me know and maybe I can do a part two to this video. As you can see, there are so many details about this one little product. I hope I answered all your questions and gained your trust in the process. Be sure to share this video with everyone and give us a like, and if you're willing, a super thanks. Subscribe for more of all things hydrogen. And that was your appropriate and verifiable dose of H2 in minutes.